Hey guys, this is Gloria. So I am here because I wanted to share a few more things that I picked up um, for my giveaway, which is still open until April 9th. Um, if you go two videos back, you'll see that video. Um, I was at the Dollar Tree and I found these really cute, um, they say ready, set, stamp. And it's a three by three inch um, stamps. And it has all these pretty florals that can actually be stamped out and then colored in. I thought that was really cute. You can make your own background paper and stuff like that. And then it has this sentiment that says hello. And I've actually used um, the one that I purchased for myself. But I did have to use an eraser and kind of um, scuff up the backs of these really good before I used them. And then they worked fine. So I like the way that they worked. And so I'm going to include that in the giveaway. As well as I found these Jot binder clips. And this one says hello it has a heart on this one and then some other pretty color ones I thought this would be really cool to include so I'm going to include those um, I also made um, this notepad using a I think this is a six by six card base um, these come from Michaels and I just um, added some regular printer paper to the inside of this and this can, you know, just be thrown in your purse or something like that to make um, little notes and things like that. So I thought that was really cute. Um, I also included another larger binder clip here and this um, rubber band that can keep the little uh, Midori type inserts together. I thought those were really nice. I also included um, a few larger um, rubber bands that will actually hold the books together and so there's two of them inside of there and then I also put one inside of the, um, the zipper pouch so I'll show you guys that in one minute I'm also going to include these little books these also came from the Dollar Tree and one is lined paper one is grid paper and then the other one is just plain paper I thought those were really cute and inside of the pouch, um, I did add some more paper clips and the pink uh, band that can also be put around the little Midori inserts. So, still collecting a few things to add. And like I said, um, the giveaway is still open. It goes until April 9th. And um, just go a few videos back and you'll see... Um, uh, the video that you can add your comment to um, then I wanted to share with you guys this little Easter box that I created last night on my silhouette cameo and um, all of this is one cut so it costs like 99 cent on the silhouette design studio or design store and it's just a little girl with little bunny ears and of course I had to put a little bow on her head and she's holding a, a really cute little egg right over here and I just thought it was really cute and it's this little gable type box and it opens up top like this and then you put your little goodies and stuff down inside so I thought that was really cute um, I was actually just trying to see what the cut was going to be like and so I just kind of made this one um, kind of like a prototype just to see what it looks like so I thought it came out super cute and then I also have been working in my Bible so I wanted to share with you guys some things that I created um, first off I wanted to show you guys this um, little pinwheel um, paper clip that still spins and it's so cute and that's the way it looks on the back what these are are the little cupcake picks that you can purchase from Tuesday morning and um, they have like a little wooden stick right inside of this little indentation here. So what I did was just took that wooden stick out and hot glued the paper clip inside of there. And now I have an interactive paper clip that can be used in my um, journal or in my Bible. As you can see, I put one in my Bible here. And so let me share with you guys. Oh, that is, that's a picture of me and my girls um, last year around about my birthday. So around about this time last year, actually. So that is that. And I just have it clipped inside of there. Um, this is falling off. Put that back. Just trying to find the pages that I worked on. Um, let's see. I want to kind of go in order. Okay. So... 
this is March 31st, and um, this is Jeremiah 29, 11, uh, I think it's just, um, yeah, 11 through 14, and so I worked on this, and um, I just used my um, Martha Stewart punch and punched out a few butterflies out of some of my favorite paper, and I uh, stamped good plans and well the plans is um, like little alphabet um, thickers and then I put thanks a latte down here and I put a little coffee cup here another um, butterfly and I thought this was cute because I thought this kind of resembles like a coffee stain but it says he restores my soul and then I put some washi down here um, different color washies and I have an arrow pointing down at the scripture that I was working on I used a bunch of those rub-ons from Target I love the little dot rub-ons and this is actually the same um, this is just a card that is the same scripture that I was working on and I got this out of the illustrated faith um, kit and then I made this paper clip with the velvet bow and put a little tab at the top and then there's journaling right underneath here so um, it's just some private journaling, so I just put that right there. And then um, I also stamped like these little crosses there, and I put little polka dots on the page. And I thought this one came out super cute. So that's what I did on March 31st. And then, let's see, where is this one? Is April 1st. And so I thought this one came out really cute as well. And so I used some washi tape and some clear stickers from Hobby Lobby. These are some little word alpha stickers that say joy up top. This is um, a little paper clip that I made with a Target um, tassel. So I just hung that on there. Some more butterflies by Martha Stewart. This is a, um, a clear sheet that I printed on in my printer. And underneath the little glasses I um, uh stamped out Nehemiah 8 and 10 which is the scripture that I was working on the joy of the Lord is your strength and I put joy right here and these are from the she blooms collection from Hobby Lobby um, this is a little girl that I had in my silhouette online store so I just printed her out and she's kind of like jumping for joy almost and she's her hand is like right by the um, the scripture and there's a little heart here this says love and happy day, and this says, this all says joy of the Lord is my, and then strength is down here, um, kind of in smaller typed font, but it, it, it's there. And then I use, this is where I use the dollar store um, stamps, and I made uh, like little clusters of flowers, and um, this is from the She Blooms collection down here. And I put washi tape. Um, I stamped out a man and then I punched this out with a little circle punch to put it down at the bottom. And um, I just put this sticker from the She Blooms collections. Uh, it says Take Root. And then this is a clear sticker from Hobby Lobby that says Hope. So I love the way that came out. Then my next page, let's see. Um, Okay, so this one is April 2nd, and um, I made this little unicorn paper clip with a little um, bow on her, and I actually used my laminator to laminate this so they wouldn't get messed up too bad. And so um, this one is the Armor of God, and this is Ephesians, and this is 6, 10 through 17 and so I used my little stamps and I stamped out some things on the page and I said be bold and I put an arrow here and it says yes Lord I did a little journaling and then he gives me and I put strength and then this says happy soul shine and this is a piece from um, my silhouette online store but it's actually Maggie Holmes and on this washi it says strong and this says courageous and I used a little sticker heart here 
and a little asterisk up here. This says amazing. This is that washi tape that I just got from Joanne. And it has like different words on it. So up here it says amazing. Down here it says favorite. And then there's some um, black and white polka dot washi tape. And a little bit of floral washi tape. And then I made some little um, flowers on the side. Some little clusters of flowers. And I stamped here. And then I stamped the date here, April 2nd. And so I do have one more. This is my last one. And I love, I, I know I always say this, I love the way it come out. But this one came out really, really nice. This is the one I just finished working on a little while ago. And this is for April 3rd. And I started out by doing Hebrews 4. And it was 1 through 3. But then I noticed that um, 3, 7 through 8. And then down here was kind of talking about the same thing. So I just read the whole thing. And um, both of those are, you know, great scriptures to journal on. But um, what I did journal on was um, rest and knowing that God gives us rest. And all we have to do is accept it and rest in him. And so this just says Jesus. And then it says he gives me. And then it says rest. And then this little girl came from my um, online silhouette online design store and I just colored in her headband a little darker pink and then I put some polka dots on her shirt and I put this gold ball on her head and put some crosses around her and I like this because she looks like she's resting she looks p very peaceful and down here I just put do not harden your heart and right here I just said just enter in don't be tricked he gives us rest and so then I put XOXO here. These are a bunch of um, rub ones. And then these are some like, um, I don't know what these are. These are like from Recollections. Oh, the enamel dots from Recollections in hot pink. And then I put some washi tape up there. This comes from um, Joanne. And um, just put some dots around. And I use my um, stamp to put these little... Um, different little stamps around on the page too but I really like the way this came out I love this little girl here so I thought it came out super cute so that is about it guys um if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I possibly can take care guys bye